Today, I am going to talk to you a little bit about our two amazing EMF radiation blocking hats. These are our EMF radiation blocking baseball cap and our EMF radiation blocking beanie hat, which is this one here. Before I get into these tests today, please do subscribe to our channel. It means that you'll never miss one of these videos and also help us get the word out there about all these amazing tests we're doing on our products and all the information and education we're providing. So EMF radiation comes from things like cell phone towers, your smartphone, your cellular networks. So cellular radiation such as 3G, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi radiation, um, you know, radiation from radio frequencies from, you know, perhaps having Bluetooth headsets on or, you know, even wired headphones um, that aren't, um, you know, that, that aren't using an acoustic signal um, or acoustic waves that could be um, presenting more EMF radiation to your environment. Um, and as we've, we've seen through all the technological advances, all the new cellular networks that are coming out um, and radiation sources such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, we're finding in our modern world, we're just exposing um, ourselves in this um, environment that we're in to, to, to more EMF radiation. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's a good idea to look at, you know, reducing that amount of radiation. And you can do so by getting rid of your devices and living in a field somewhere, or you can look at blocking or reducing the amount of EMF radiation that is coming from some of your favorite devices. So today, what I want to talk about is, is the hats and do a test. Like the hats are great because it helps block ambient EMF radiation. So, you know, if you're around a friend's house or if someone else has got their Wi-Fi on, but you've got yours turned off, if you're walking past cell phone towers, um, you know, wearing uh, an EMF blocking, EMF radiation blocking hat um, may be able to shield um, and block some of that ambient radiation from reaching you and, and staying out of your environment, which is really handy. I always wear one myself. I think they're fantastic and, you know, it's, it's a really good tool to have in, in your biohacking toolbox, um, as a lot of you will be aware. So I've got an EMF nine, uh, 390 meter here, which is um, a really good EMF meter. You can, you can grab them on Amazon. Um, they're not that expensive, a couple hundred dollars if you want to go testing your own, um, your own areas in your house for, for um, EMF radiation. But I'm loading this up and it's going to start beeping straight away because there's just so much radiation present in this environment. You know, you're seeing just horrible numbers there, 42 we, we measure it in megawatts um, per meter squared, which is a standard uh, measurement of, of RF radiation, uh, radio frequency radiation, which encompasses, you know, your, your Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G, um, Bluetooth, those kind of things as well. You know, just horrible, horrible numbers there. Um, as you saw, it, it, it fluctuates up and down. Um, you don't want to be hearing it beep, you know, I've got my cell phone there and, you know, we're up at 174, um, which is huge, huge numbers, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start testing these products. I'll start with the beanie hat. So I'm just going to run the live test now, and then I'll talk after the test about the results. So there you have it. As you can see there, that went down to two megawatts per meter squared. Um, and we saw then the ambient radiation that was around me. You can still hear it beeping now that it's uh, out, out of its, uh, out of its um, radiation beanie hat. You can see the radiation was peaking at 175 um, megawatts per meter squared. And we got it down to two, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, shielding, um, you know, oh, in that 99% um, area that we claim that our, our products block, which is fantastic. And as you can see there, the you know, live test on camera shows how much radiation that product does block. So now I'm going to do the same test, but for the EMF radiation blocking baseball cap. So I'm just gonna not place that in. I'm gonna place the phone inside the baseball cap. Um, as you can see there, there it is, showing it going in. Um, and then I'll do the test again so you guys can see. So there you go. Um, as you can see, that went to, down to 2.9. And we recorded that the radiation in our area was 175 uh, megawatts per meter square before we did the test. And then we tested with the phone inside the baseball cap. 
and as you saw there, it went down to to levels that were were showing extremely high levels of EMF radiation blocking, EMF radiation shielding, which is something that you know if you have some sort of issue towards EMF radiation um, levels being too high in your environment, then you might want to look at potentially blocking them using these types of products. So really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching these two tests. Um, we hope it gives you the um, the information you need to look more into EMF radiation, how you might want to reduce it in your environment. And if you choose to reduce it using EMF blocking products, we hope these tests have given you the, the peace of mind that they do what they say they're going to do. And you can get them from the link below in the description. I've linked them there now for you. And any questions, just drop us a line and we can answer them for you. But um, one thing worth noting as well is we use actually an um, antimicrobial um, shielding material so you're not going to be all sweating and horrible in, in this thing and, and have it all smelly um, the the fabric that shields the EMF actually won't um, stink um, after a while we know you know on hot days you're wearing a black hat it might you might get a bit sweaty but um, rest assured that you know that the, the technology we're using in there will, will allow it to you know um, not only block the EMF radiation um, up to 99% as we've we just shown there on camera um, on the live test, but also allow you not to um, have too much of a, a smelly hat as well. In terms of washing the product, um, both of them, don't machine wash them. Um, you will uh, damage the EMF radiation shielding material, which I can show you there. Look, um, it's a silver, silver lining in there, four, four layers which is fantastic for, for shielding. Um, and then just you, you would just hand wash them um, just with some soap um, and then leave them to air dry. Don't put them in a tumble dryer. And then you can maintain the integrity of the EMF shielding in there as well, which is which is fantastic. So thanks for tuning into that one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And um, any questions, let us know. Leave a comment below. Happy to help out. Um, where, where I can if you have any questions on EMF radiation um, or any of our other products and if you have any other general questions feel free to message customer service and they can help as well but thanks for tuning in please subscribe and there'll be another video soon thanks